Now, I was going through all the videos uh, to, you know, work out what we needed more of or less of because sometimes, you know, I get a bit overboard and <laughs> I just want so much of everything because I have so much fun with piano and, um, and I just love all of it. So I like to put lots and lots of everything. And I realized there's only one video for high and low. And I thought, oh no, we can't do that. <laughs> you need to practice it. So today we're doing a video and you'll need to put on your special ears today. You have to be really good at listening because when I'm playing on the piano, I'm not actually on the keys that you can see because that's cheating. If you can see what side of the piano I'm on, you can easily tell if it's high or low. So today, I'm actually playing on the keys that are not on the piano. I'm out here and they're not on the piano that you can see. So if you like, you can close your eyes and when I ask you if it's high or low, you can say the answer, okay? And then I'll tell you the answer so that you know if it was right or wrong, okay? Anyway, have fun, it's just a game. Now, I was just going through all the videos we've made and I've noticed that we have hardly done any videos going over our high and low notes. And today, you are going to put on your special listening caps, right? We're gonna put on these special listening ears, okay? I'm going to give them a bit of a rub right now and get them ready for listening. Now, you are not going to see my hands because for the high notes, I'm going to be off the piano. I'm going to be up further up here, even higher than these notes. I'm going to be up here. For the high notes, remember they sound like twinkling stars? They're high. They're high. And for the low notes, I'm going to be lower than down here. I'm going to be away because you need to use your ears to decide whether these notes are high or low. Now, these are the low ones. Remember? Low notes, low. They sound like a grumpy bear or a crocodile that's very hungry. Okay, so I'm going to play some notes and you have to guess whether they're high or low. Ready? What do you think? Is that high or low? That is high. What about now? What do you think, high or low? That is low. Okay, what about now? Is that high or low? Does it sound like twinkling stars? Or does it sound like a grumpy bear? That is high. What about now? Is that high or low? That is low. What about now? Is that high or low? That is high. What about now? High or low? That is also high. What about now? High or low? That is low. What about now? Whoa. Was that high or low? That was low. What about now? High or low? That was high. What about now? High or low? That was low. Well done if you guessed them all correctly. And keep practicing your high and low on your pianos too. Okay? How did you go with high and low? Did you have fun? It's pretty easy because high, it sounds like twinkling stars. You can't really miss it. And the low sounds like a rumble in your tummy. It can even be a rumble in your tummy, you know, when you're hungry and it starts to do that rumbling sound down there. That is low. And it's low in your tummy grumbling because you're hungry. <laughs> so just keep practicing. If you missed it and you got them mostly wrong and you thought, ah, what am I doing? Just go back. High means it sounds like twinkling stars all the way up here like a Mickey Mouse. Whoop, 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 whoop. And if it's low, it's all the way down there. And it's a rumble, rumble, thunder. Oh. So listen again. They're pretty obvious which one is 
which. Okay, have fun.